My name is Lacey, and today I want to talk to you about food miles. Food miles is the term we use when we're thinking about the distance that food travels from farm to your plate. So, for instance, this grapefruit grew on our farm. So the distance between pulling it off the tree and me eating it is zero miles. That's pretty cool. But we're also on a farm, so it makes sense that the food miles for this grapefruit is zero. Here in the Central Valley, we grow a lot of food. Soilborne Farms is one of thousands of farms in the Central Valley of California, a farming region with rich soil that provides about 25% of the nation's food. If you like eating almonds, lettuce, strawberries, grapes, and tomatoes, there's a big chance that the food you are eating grew in California, which means the food didn't have to travel too far to get to your plate. But not all food grows super close. A lot of our food comes from all over the world. This pineapple, for example, that we got at the grocery store, it came from Costa Rica. That means that it traveled quite some distance to get here. This mango came from Mexico, and so did this pepper. And this coffee, even though I got it at a coffee shop that's close by, the coffee beans come from Brazil, Ethiopia, and Peru. These coffee beans have a whole lot of food miles. California is a super special place for agriculture. We are lucky to have a good climate and lots of space where we can grow food pretty much year round. But that's not the case in many areas. Plenty of large cities rely on their food being transported from other areas. And as a society, we've gotten used to being able to eat just about anything at any time. And a lot of the foods we eat, like sugar, bananas, coffee, don't grow in California, so we have to get them from other places. Let's go take a look in my pantry and see how far my food traveled to get to my kitchen. Most of the food you get at the grocery store has the country of origin on its package. To figure out how far your food traveled, simply look for this country on the packaging. This snack package came all the way from Thailand which is 7,774 miles away. That's pretty far. Let's see how far the rest of the food in my pantry traveled. Why is it so important to learn about our food miles? Apples from Washington, sugar from India, and asparagus from Peru. When we think about food from all over the world, we are looking at our global food system. Because we can eat food from all over the world, our diets are super diverse. But this way of eating can have some consequences. The further a food has to travel to reach our plate, the more all of that transportation contributes to greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. All of those food miles add up over time, which means that our global food system has a big impact on our environment. We grow peppers on our farm too, but right now it's March, which means that peppers aren't in season. For me to get this pepper, I had to get it from a grocery store, and they're selling it from a place that is warm enough to currently grow peppers which means that this pepper came all the way from Mexico. But wait a minute. If California grows so much produce, why are we eating peppers from Mexico when we could have peppers from Sacramento? With our global food system, we have gotten used to eating all kinds of food all year round. 
But farming doesn't work like that. As we film this video, it is March, which means all those warm season vegetables are just starting out. It's too cold for peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers right now, but come this summer, our farm and probably your gardens will be full of them. It's grapefruit season here in California. So this grapefruit didn't have to travel as many miles for me to get it. There are lots of ways to reduce your food miles and eating food that's in season is a great place to start. If you try to eat the fruits and vegetables that are currently in season in your area, there's a higher chance that they were grown more locally and didn't have to travel very far to get to your plate. This means less pollution was produced as they made their way to you. You can also reduce your food miles by eating locally when you can, by shopping at a farmer's market, or growing your own food in a community garden or even your backyard. You've already done a lot of work to reduce your food miles by growing your own home gardens over the past year. And as a bonus, the food you grow yourself tastes the best too. So take a look in your pantry. How far has your food traveled? Did you get it from a local farm? Or maybe grow it yourself in a garden? Does your food have a label on it that tells you where it's from? If you look at the stickers on your vegetables, it'll usually tell you what country it came from. Or if you have prepackaged food, it might tell you what country it came from too. Write down the food miles of the food in your kitchen and try to see what foods have traveled the furthest distance. Have fun.